G'day guys, how are we going? Look, today I'm just having a bit of a chat to you about some few points to consider when you're loading your roof rack up on your next four-wheel driving adventure. And one thing you need to take into account is weight distribution. Now we do carry a fair bit of stuff up on our roof racks when we do go away. And uh, sometimes, unfortunately, you've got to carry some heavy things up on your roof. And you really should take into consideration where you position those and try and balance your roof up so then it balances your full drive up as well. And on the two outsides here, I've got a couple of jerry can holders there which I can either carry fuel or I can carry water in them. But the beauty of these jerry can holders that Tradesman Roof Rack make is they're single ones. They're not doubles. Uh, and the beauty of the single ones is you can move them around your roof if you need to so you, know, so you, can, so you can distribute the, the weight where you want to put it. Because uh, if, if you do carry jerry, two couple of jerry cans and then a double jerry can format, well, you've got a lot of weight sitting on one corner. You've got probably about 40 kilos if you're putting two of these in the one corner of your roof rack. So these single ones, a great idea. Uh, just in here, I've got my chainsaw box, and that doesn't weigh a great deal, but, you know, it's big, it's awkward, but um, it goes ideally up here on the roof. And then the swag, well, we all know they don't weigh a great deal. Then the other jerry can holder there. And on the outside, I've got my uh, high lift jack and shovel holder mount there. And the reason why I've got my, my chainsaw box here set to one side, because it's sort of offset a little bit of the weight that's carrying on the outside there with my, jerry, with my uh, high lift jack holder there. And then in the front, I generally try and keep that a bit open so I can, uh, you know, pull up into camp or before I get into camp, I can load a bit of firewood up there. Um, but, you know, we all got to load our roofs up differently. Depends on how many people you're taking away. But uh, this is pretty much a standard sort of a setup fit for me. Um, not always I'm carrying two jerry cans, but, you know, and this, this, this is how I would set it up if I was going to carry a couple of jerry cans just because that weight factor, I can move them around a bit. And then I start off with a nice lightweight roof rack that Tradesman Roof Rack make. This is only an alloy rack, um, but it carries all the, all the gear that I need. Um, so you're starting off with a light, nice lightweight rack before you begin loading your roof up. So there's just a few little things to, you know, to, get, to consider when you're, when you're loading your roof up and heading away on your next trip. And I uh, hope those few little tips help you out and you get away on a bit of a safer one on your next one. Good on you guys. See you in the bush someday.